But first, we have a story from Zach Tecklenburg. We're learning the first, for the first time today, what happened in the hours leading up to the death of three-year-old little Blake Litton. He died February 16th of blunt force trauma. Today, a Morgan County judge upheld the charges against his mother. They believe she helped cover up her son's death. Beth Vaughn was in the courtroom. She joins us today. Yeah, hi, Elizabeth. Uh, I was in the courtroom earlier today, and I tell you that Jamie Litton was pretty much unemotional until the very, very end of her preliminary hearing today when she was afforded the opportunity to hug her father. This embrace was the most emotional we saw her today in his ear. He told me later that Jamie Litton said, uh, Dad, you know, I'm sorry. And, and, and we, of course, didn't get to witness that, but um, Jim Litton did tell us that later. And um, I, I can tell you that um, there was plenty of evidence that was um, put forth today for this preliminary hearing. Uh, and the most striking uh, was the text messages um, sent between both uh, Jamie Litton and T.J. Presley, the two people charged in Blake Litton's death. Now, uh, it, it shows that at 3.30, he texted um, Jamie and said that, you know what, he had lost it when Blake um, messed up his pants. And then at 4 o'clock, he texted again and said that Blake's body was black and purple. And then again at 4.45, the most striking of them all, he texted Jamie and said that he thought that Blake was paralyzed. Of course, the story goes, we reported this before, Mark, Elizabeth, uh, that they um, somehow put together a scheme of a hit-and-run accident that police later realized was a hoax. It was made up, and the little boy's body actually wasn't found inside of the road, but rather placed there. So uh, again, the preliminary hearing for Jamie Litton taken care of today. The judge upheld those charges, uh, but we did learn that T.J. Presley, his charges, um, well, they're unknown because he waived his right to a preliminary hearing. We do expect to see both of them back in court next month. We'll have the latest on 41 Action News and, of course, KSHB.com. We're live in Stover, Beth Vaughn, 41 Action News.